Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number three, guys. I've been painting away. We moved into um, our new home down here in sunny Florida and we don't have a lot of furniture. <laughs> our last house in Hilton Head, the people who bought it, bought everything in it, including the dishes and the pots and pans and silverware, which made it really easy for us when we headed to our Asheville home. Um, but moving in here, I had to reorder everything and it's been daunting trying to get things delivered. We slept on the floor or actually on an uncomfortable blow up bed for about seven days. Our beds arrived two days ago and we are thrilled and slowly but surely things are being delivered and it's feeling a little bit more like home. But I have had a lot of time to paint. But unfortunately, we don't have our DSL hooked up. It won't be here for a few more weeks. So I have very slow internet and have not been able to upload very many videos. So these videos will probably be coming, uh, coming at you quickly as soon as uh, I'm able to upload some things for you. What are we doing today? We are doing a pearl pour painting. I'm still trying to figure this out, trying to master where the pearls go, where they don't go, just trying to have a little bit more control over my paints because I am a bossy girl when it comes to those paints. We are working today on a 20 by 20 reuse canvas. I was up late a couple of days ago and I was just practicing some dry swiping. And I was gonna do another swipe over this once it dried, but I decided to reuse the canvas instead. Um, pouring medium today. Our pouring medium today in every one of our paints, including the the pillow paint or the base coat that we put down is one part Liquitex, one part strained Floetrol, a half a part of Golden Gak 800, and a hell of a lot of water. <laughs> I'm thinking some of these paints took 25% water. Some took a little less. The white paint is denser. It took a little bit more water. I do not measure guys. I just kind of go with the flow and um, see what the outcome is, which generally is okay. We're working with the colors in our home here, which are silvers and whites and blacks and our colors today right here and I'm going to show you the consistency but you probably won't be able to see it and I actually think I need a little bit more water in this. That is our Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylics in the black. We also have in this cup right here with lots of air bubbles. Let's look at this consistency. You might see it a little better. Sorry about the shadow. I have not gotten my back lights to eliminate this but what the heck I'm still going at it that is one part artist loft soft body in white a half a part of deco art satin enamel in the pure white with the um, one part Liquitex one part Floetrol half a part of GAC 800 and a lot of water our only other color is right here, shimmery, soft, beautiful, beautiful goodness. What we have there is Deco Art. Love my Deco Art Metallics in their, is this the silver or the sterling silver? This is their sterling silver. And I added a couple of squirts of the golden iridescent silver as well in the fluid paint. So. We're just gonna be dumping and swirling some things around and hopefully come up with a pretty painting to go with a collection of paintings that I have been doing. I will post pictures of them because uh, I'm very, very happy with them. They're all going on one wall in an entrance foyer. So let's put some tunes on guys. Let's have some fun. Let's get relaxed. Let's get busy.
It's kind of pretty but let me tell you a couple of things that um, you need to consider to avoid what's going on over here you can see that I added more black negative space and there was white paint underneath and a little bit of silver paint so what happened is as I added that black uh, negative space the some of the pearls started to pop up now when I do this again, I will have just the black base coat here and our other colors creating the pearls on this side. If there was nothing underneath that black paint, we would not have this issue. But one thing you can do at this point is do as I'm doing, dip a dry paper towel and continue to absorb that white paint up. If you work it for a while, it'll be gone but an easier thing to do is after this painting is totally dry i usually wait anywhere from seven to nine days depending on humidity and whatnot um, i would go in and paint this section with my artist loft black now you cannot just paint the little white areas that you're trying to eliminate because the sheen of the paint is going to be a little bit different now once you put your um, your isolation coat down, your coats of varnish, that will probably disappear. But when I go in and paint after the fact, I paint the whole section so that the sheen matches. And I generally stay about a quarter of an inch away from the composition. And what that does is it kind of gives you a little bit of a shadow effect because that area sheen will be different from the area that you paint. Um, I hope that helps. Um, the gray paint that was a little bit heavier did not, I mean, you can see it maybe coming through in these sections, but it did not prevent the pearls from happening. But this painting is going to go very nicely with the other two that I made for my, um, my office wall. So thanks as always for being here, guys. It makes me smile when I see you. It makes me smile when I read your comments. And uh, you all just bring a bit of joy to my life, and as well as this painting. Um, and I thank you for that, guys. Be safe, stay well, be happy, and we'll see you soon.